Okay, <clears throat> here's my project. The, uh, this, uh, belt. And, uh, so my, uh, plan of attack, and I think I got how the belt goes, and right here's the thing for it anyways, is to remove that, remove the engine mount, um, the hardest part about this is going to be down at the very bottom, and I was driving this, this this morning, so it was a little bit hot. So right down there, there's a couple of places in there that's really tight. I don't even know if you there it is by the air con the air compressor, the air conditioning uh, compressor, and then there's another pulley. So if I can get it right there. I think we're going to be okay. That engine mount, I'll show you what I'm doing underneath. I'm going to hold the engine up because they say you have to do that with my car jack and I got a block of wood under there so as soon as I remove the engine mount I'm gonna it's on there pretty good right now but just enough to put pressure on it. That's really it. So I got the locks behind my wheels emergency brake and my jack stand it's level yeah when you have a car fall you remember that stuff I have my belt pulley tensioner that I bought a breaker bar and because uh, I tried to loosen the engine bolt mounts and I couldn't do it with that. So I wanted something with a little bit more leverage. Plus I wanted to make sure that uh, I could get this down in there, uh, that uh, wrench down in there if I need to get some more uh, tension um, on that. Uh, and so... Uh, have your tools and so gotten more use out of that than what you can imagine so that's the plan so I'll either be successful or I will be stranded and have to have somebody come and do it so I'll let you know how it goes okay I uh have the new belt it's on new belt tensioner right there if you can see it it's a shiny part there which was a little bit of a bear getting that on I've checked this thing I haven't turned it on yet to make sure the belts are lined up I looked underneath to make sure all the belts are lined up because my understanding is if you turn it on and it's not lined up just correctly it's just going to chew the belt all to crap. And I've looked at this, and it seems to be lined up. I know it's on there correctly. Even down in there. If you can see. And while I had everything up, I changed the oil. And while I was underneath there changing the oil, I know the uh, belt was seated on there correctly. And uh, so I checked that and felt it. I had to go get this tool. Uh, I didn't think I was going to need it when I first started this project. So um, I needed it while I had the belt off. My neighbor's across the street right there. He owns a cab company. He was kind enough to take me down to the store while I had this. So let's uh, go ahead and let's, uh, let's go ahead and start it up see what happens and uh so excuse me if this is just a little bit long but anyway so i got everything back on there tightened down snug down so let's give it a whirl oh man i hope this goes okay
looks looks pretty good. There's no squeak. The squeak is gone. I used to have a squeak on on that. That's the old belt down there. The belt tensioner is uh, I don't know where it is, but anyways, let's go ahead and rev this puppy up and see if uh, um, let's see see what we got. <laughs> I don't have my seatbelt on. That's a flashing light. I think I did it. Man. Look at that. And I give thanks to that right there. Breaker bar. Oh, those, uh, those are the tools that um, I needed. Right there. And, and I actually needed this for a little while. But that's it. So, yeah, I really appreciate those right there. You just don't know how much. So, I've been able to do a lot more things uh, around here uh, because of it. So, alrighty. I'll talk to you later.